like to show you a visual uh, a slide on what the demo is going to be so that you know we understand what's what's really happening right uh, because we're going to type in a bunch of cli comments and uh, might be difficult to follow so uh, actually this uh, i have my open shift on aws or uh, uh, where my front end of the application is running and i have a database and payment service running in a vmware data center and uh, i have a replica of the data and i have replicated the same database and uh, the uh, both the database and i've replicated the same vm on openshift virtualization and uh, so what i've done here is uh, i've already created the connection between uh, between my openshift cluster and the vmware data center uh, using red hat service interconnect the red line you see here i've already established this connection and uh, now what we are the, the premise is like like uh, again to to continue where andrew left right the premise is that now we the plan is to migrate this whole vmware data center onto openshift world so but before that let's let's take a look at the application itself right uh, I think this is it. So this is a simple patient portal application. You can see my OpenShift cluster here. I've already, uh, you know, uh, installed the Red Hat service interconnect routers here, and my patient portal front end is here. Basically, uh, the list of patients and list of doctors is coming from the database. And uh, I'll try to go ahead and make the payment. And when I make the payment, it uh, for the purpose of the demo, I, I just I, I also made sure to make sure the app shows where the payment is being processed. So currently, the payment is being processed at the VMware data center. So uh, this is where the payment is being processed. And uh, again, like I mentioned, the service interconnect, uh, uh, the connectivity between OpenShift and this VMware data center is enabled by Red Hat Service Interconnect. Now what we'll do is we'll try to establish the connectivity between uh, our OpenShift and uh, the new VM that we created an OpenShift virtualization, which, are, which is a replica of what we already have. And uh, we will give both the database and payment service the same WAN address or the same service names as the ones in the VMware data center so that you know uh, the, the transition or the, the switch over will be very seamless. Okay, so how do we do that? So here there are three environments, uh, three, three terminals. The orange color is my OpenShift cluster. The red color terminal is my VM, VMware data center. And the green color is my, my VM on OpenShift uh, virtualization environment. So uh, since I've already established uh, the connection between my OpenShift environment and VMware, now I'll go ahead and establish the connection between my VM on OpenShift virtualization. So for that, for you will now see how easy it is to establish the connection. Now for that, I will go ahead and initialize the routers on my on OpenShift Word. And let's give it a couple of seconds. And that should, in the meanwhile, what we can go ahead and do also is we can go ahead and create a there you go the router is installed now i'm going ahead and creating uh, the secure token in my openshift environment which which we are assuming is the public cluster like we saw in our example and uh, once i create that token uh, i'll show you what the contents of the token here cat secret underscore word so the token has all the informations about you know where to connect uh, this uh, this is the the url and the certificate information that you can see here all the information is there so now i'll transfer this token to the to, to the vm on openshift word and uh, let's go ahead and do that transferring the token i'm copy pasting my passwords sorry these are a little bigger comments to type so i'm just copy pasting it from my documents so we sh i think we should have the token here there you go i think we have the token so once we have the token we'll use the scupper link create command to actually establish the link so i'm going ahead and doing that so basically the scupper link is uh, command is used to establish the uh, the link uh, uh, the network 
using the token. So once we do that, we should get a confirmation message that the uh, connection has been done. And now we have to we have to say we have to expose both the database and the uh, the payment processor over the network. So both these are both the database and payment processor are running on the VM already. So I'm going to expose them. Like I mentioned, you you as the developer or the network admin has the choice and the power to control which services you expose over the network. And I'm using the same names that were same address, same service names that were used uh, when the VM was connecting to OpenShift. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, so now what we have is we have we have two identical VMs, one on VMware data center and uh, VMware on OpenShift virtualization. Both are connected. And now let's see how our application behaves, right? Uh, again, I have not done anything. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and try to make a payment for another patient here. And uh, you see it still says processed at VMware data center because you know the VMware data center is still still online. And uh, what, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll try to delete the connection with the VMware data center, which is kind of identical to you know taking down the VM. I don't want to delete the whole VM, uh, but I'm going to delete the connection using the scupper delete command. And once I do that, uh, the, the assumption is, we, you know, we've taken down the VM. We are, we are sure that, you know, the new VM on uh, OpenShift Word, Word is working well, and we want traffic to seamlessly shift to it. Now I'll go ahead and try to make a payment. Uh, not uh, that we already made a payment here. And let's try to make a payment for this patient here. Uh, we already made a payment and see if the payment changes, right? Uh, submit the payment and uh, yes, see now the new payment processor has kicked in and now you see processed at OpenShift Word. So even if you try to make a, page, a payment to the other, other, other patients here, you can see it's processed at OpenShift Word as we showed before, um, you know, all the payment processing has, has, has changed. So that's that's how seamlessly uh, you know uh, we've made the transition. Uh, we've uh, we've we've created a VM. We've bought we've bought it. We, all the services came up with the same name as the original services, and then slowly we took down the VMware uh, uh, the the VM, the VM on VMs on VMware, and then uh, you know uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, then, then seamlessly switched on to switched on to the VM on OpenShift virtualization, uh, and and you know it it also powers an active active scenario where you have the VMware data center and the VM on OpenShift. It automatically load balances uh, both these, not just failover, but it also load balances if needed if you want to keep it for some more time. 